Philly Fingers here, playing bank pool. When playing with a nine ball rack, first player to bank five balls into a cold pocket wins the game. Break in order to pocket the wing ball. You don't get points for any balls pocketed on the break, but you continue shooting. Balls pocketed on the break will be spotted after your turn is completed. After the break, you must then call the ball and the pocket in which you're banking into. Only bank shots are allowed. No kicks, no caroms, no combos, just the straight bank. Two rail banks or three rail banks are also not allowed. Now with the ghost's turn over and the inning over, now the balls that were made on the break get spotted. At any point, you can play safe or look for an open bank. Here, I'm going to bank this ball into the top left corner. That scores me a point and the game is tied. I will now attempt to bank this ball into the bottom right corner. As you can see, the ball got away from me, so now it's the ghost's turn. Here there are multiple options. You can play safe, pocket a ball on purpose, knowing it's going to get respotted, leaving your opponent on the rail, or you can look for a bank. The choice here is the bank into the bottom left corner. This brings you up table and close enough to the other ball where you can easily pocket this back into the top right corner. And that's what I'll do. Bank the ball into the top right corner, come back up table close enough to the other balls where we can have easy position for another ball into the bottom right corner. So this is a simple bank, it's missed, the inning is over, but the ghost has scored three points. Now we have to be careful when we miss because we can leave our opponent very, very easy shots. Here he's left me an easy cross bank. Now it's two to three. Now I have another long bank, but into the same pocket. So I do the long bank, that ties up the score three to three, and it leaves me a good shot at another bank. So here I have another bank into the exact same pocket. Sadly, I've missed the bank. I also left them in the center of the table, which gives them perfect position. This will now attempt a bank into the side pocket. He hits the point, makes the ball in the wrong pocket, and scratches. So now a ball gets spotted, and he loses a point, so he's down to two. The ball he made in the wrong pocket also comes back up and gets spotted. I now have ball in hand behind the head string. Scratching and losing points can really change this game around. So now I have the advantage at 3-2, to two, but I have to shoot up table. With only one free open ball, what I'll do is I'll bank this right back towards myself into the top left corner. This gives me 4 points, needing only one more point to win. I'm also perfectly aligned for my final bank into the bottom left corner. So that's what I'll do. Bank to the bottom left corner, that's the 5th point, the game is over 5-2. to two. So that's my take on bank pull. Until next time.